you to use a mandolin slicer and never, ever, ever worry about danger. How is that possible? When one of the number one reasons that people visit emergency rooms in this country because of kitchen accidents is because of their mandolin slicer. Those V-shaped blades make beautiful slices and unfortunately sometimes your hands or your fingers become victims, right? So what if I told you you would be able to come in here and do slices of sweet potato simply by pushing down? I can look away. I don't even have to pay attention to it. I can just keep going and it's going to uniformly and neatly slice all of these sweet potatoes for this beautiful sweet potato gratin. Don't miss out on this opportunity because this is the kind of beautiful mandolin slicer that allows you to do the slicing and the food prep that you need without danger. Now, we also have color choices for you tonight, and I also have some more surprises for you. Do you know this collapse is flat, so it's easy to store in the drawer in your kitchen? We're talking about reimagining your kitchen space, right? We want to make sure that things are earning their place in your kitchen. They don't take up a lot of room. Mandolin slicers are big and bulky, right? Not this one. Take a look in the drawer right here because everything you need stores right where you need it. Now, I've got it in Zakarian blue. Only 2,600 to go around. Next to that is the black. I believe that's the black. 1,800 in the black. Then I've got it for you here in the eggplant. 1,100 in the eggplant. From there, I'm going to take you over to cool gray. 1,500 in the cool gray. Then I've got it for you in sage. 2,600 available. And then finally, the cranberry. Always popular on the cranberry. You will also get four recipes that you'll you need this mandolin slicer for. Chef has provided you with rosemary potato gratin, gingered coleslaw with golden raisins. I would love to have that. Here it is, French onion soup, my most favorite soup. And then finally, the zucchini crudo with the mint and feta. Now, this is a very, very popular item if you've never shopped with QVC before, because historically, since we introduced it, 137,000 have been ordered. And a lot of you who have ordered it have been first-time QVC customers. And tonight, if you're a brand new QVC customer and you want to make this your first purchase, you would not be alone. Call the number on your screen, and we'll be glad to set up an account for you and place an order. It takes about 90 seconds to create an account for you, and we'll get you all squared away. The man that makes all this possible is an iron chef. He's a restaurateur. He is also a Food Network celebrity, and he's also a cookbook author. And on top of all those things, he's my friend. Jeffrey Zakarian. Hey, could you put the newspaper down? You're busy with a mandolin. You might cut yourself. Oh, sorry. Just catching up on the uh, New York Times food section. A lot of interesting things there. Uh, and nothing about cutting yourself, because here you're not going to cut yourself. David, we've sold so many of these, and it's high customer rated. It's so high. It's so fantastic. Have you noticed coming in here? Guess what? I'm not wasting anything. Everything's getting used. I hate waste. Like it's the worst thing in my life is waste. When someone wastes something, I hate it. And guess what? Let me show you this, a close-up. Every single one is the same size. And that's what cooking's about. That's what professional chefs are about. And that's why I'm bringing this to you. I'm gonna solve a lot of problems for you tonight. And one of them is gonna be how to cut things uniform so they sit in a vinaigrette. They're the same taste. They cook the same way. Carrots, sweet potatoes, like you demonstrated so expertly cook the same thickness so you don't have any problem with getting things that work and that cook the same thickness. You don't have any issues with doing thick, thin, half-cooked, uncooked. Look at these beautiful, delicate strawberries right from the market. Lovely. This handles everything. It's impossible to cut yourself. And I'm going to make a little marana tonight. Actually, I'm making a lot of marana. I have like a lot of garlic. I want you to take a look at this garlic. You could never cut this amount of garlic in the amount of time that I'm doing it. This is what professional chefs use. This is we don't waste time, because time is money, and time is really what's the most valuable thing in our lives. Look at how completely perfect it is. Gallons and gallons of marinara made perfectly without oh. any fuss, any nothing cutting. This cuts 30 cuts. It's a breeze. It has a great storage uh, container underneath. And we're making potato chips. One of my favorite things in the world Right. Is a potato chip. Take a look at these potato chips right now. Look at this. You can't make a potato chip that's thin and crisp and brown all over unless it's thin and perfectly cut. And that's why the mandolin is the chef's secret weapon. But this one isn't a weapon. It's right. just secret. It's just the a secret. The other ones 
Exactly. Hey, let me tell it's you that really we have taken orders for 800 of these are gone now, Chef. We've got a little animation. I'd love for you to narrate for us sure. because I think everyone's wanting to know how the how does this work? This is the first item that GZ ever showed me when we first met at the International Home and House Show show in Chicago. Let's take a look at the animation and narrate for us if you will, Chef. It is so easy to use. There are 14 adjustable blades used for thick or thin julienne cuts. The large blade can be adjusted to nine different thicknesses. The internal blade, look at it, just goes up and down, away from your fingers to slice, dice of julienne. The food loads, and look at it, it just drops into a catch tray. The lever pumps, 30 different cuts, easy to use, perfect cuts, even time, every time for even cooking and superior results. What it's all about. And I want to take a look at this. Uh, I actually put this in a glove compartment of my car on the way over here, and no joke. If you read my, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see it. And it goes fulls. I don't like devices that don't have a place in my pantry or my drawer. This exactly. goes in the drawer, and it goes in the dishwasher, David. Now, speaking of the drawer, let's open up our drawer here on our kitchen set and show you inside. This is all of the mandolin slicers all collapsed down. They collapse down flat, and as Chef mentioned, they go into the dishwasher for easy cleanup. Here's the carrion blue. I also have black, then eggplant. What's that, Sean? Most limited in the eggplant. Then I've got uh, cool gray, 1300 sage, and finally the cranberry. Cranberry is most popular. We've now taken orders for 1,200 in this show. 900 people on the phone lines. Here is one of Chef's favorite vegetables. I call them little green cabbage balls of death. Um, <laughs> this is the Brussels sprout. And Brussels sprouts can be tough to slice because they're so dense, but your mandolin slicer makes quick work of that, doesn't it? Yeah, because what, what happens is, you know, what we try to do is uh, it's safety ever all. Like you said, the, the, one of the biggest emergency room visits is this baby here. They're very, very important to a chef is to have a mandolin, but the old ones didn't have this pump action. So as you see, I'm looking at you, talking to you, and I'm making perfect cuts of two different densities. One, a very delicate strawberry, and one, a kind of gnarly garlic. But it's so easy to use, and look at that. You're making a strawberry shortcake, you're making some biscuits, you just wanna put this on an ice cream sundae, or you just love strawberries and you're making a cocktail like a strawberry spritzer, it's just brilliant. And that's why the chefs always use game and time saving tools every day. It's about saving time and making cuts that are the exact same deck of card thickness so that when you put that in a gratin or in a beautiful dauphinoise or a beautiful cream sauce, it's perfectly cooked and no one's getting raw potatoes. Now, Chef, we talk a lot about mirepoix, the, the trinity, right? The onions, yes. the celery, and the carrots. Look how I'm able to shred these right into the bowl. Get all of my celery in there, pop the onion in right behind it, and then you're ready to go with even the onion as well. This is what makes all this food prep so easy and allows you to do it in a way that is safe and simple and keeps your fingers away from the blades. You can't get close. How about French fries? One of God's most oh. perfect foods. Exactly. We've got them all fried up here with a little pot of ketchup to go along with them. We made all these in the mandolin slicer. There's a little dial on the back and little levers that you turn so you determine your thickness and also the kind of cut you're going to do. Is that right? That's right, because the, let's show you here, right here. So that's the big lever. That's the thickness. You just turn it thick, thin. And these are little pop ups. This is the Julienne. These two here. And all. It's simple, and I love, I tell you all the time, it has to be simple because if you have to have an instruction booklet to work something, it's not simple enough. So we break down everything so simply, and then it folds like this, sits on a table, and it's got these ingenious little suction cups here. So nothing's going to happen, and you just pop it in the dishwasher, and you're a happy person. When it stores, this comes out, goes back in when it stores, so it's washable. Then you put it back in your, your drawer and you're happy. 
and you're safe and you don't cut yourself, most importantly. We're very, very busy with 2,100 already out the door. We have hundreds of people on the phone lines because everyone's anxious to do mandolin slicing where they're not going to end up slicing these, right? Our fingers should not be a part of a slicing puzzle, right? We should be <laughs> using just the fingers to load the items that the mandolin slicer will slice for us. Now, when you're not using it, as Chef showed you, it collapses flat. I've got it stored here in the drawer in front of us so you can see beautiful colors to choose from. This is Zakarian Blue. I have 2,200 left in the Zakarian Blue. Here's black. 1,400 left in the black. Then eggplant. 900 in the eggplant. Then I've got cool gray. 1,100 left. Sage is available. And Bonnie the Cranberry. 2,500 in the cranberry and our most popular option. Think about the things that you're cooking most often and how nice it would be to make French fries. Let me pop in my food guard here. Come all the way down. Now, take a look. Gorgeous French fries, chef. Everyone cut exactly the same size so everything cooks more evenly. Those are going to be perfect homemade French fries to have with your burgers or whatever else you love, right? Yeah, let me just show you one more thing that we mentioned. Waste. Waste not, want not. If you can see what's happening in your shoot, it went down to the very end. In my shoot, I am using every single scrap of the potato. I cut my potatoes with the skin. I wash it first because guess where all the beautiful, gorgeous minerals and flavor is in the skin. So you see that? No waste ever. Wasting is, to me, a sin. The dollar you have is a... It's a sacred dollar to spend on food. And we serve and we throw away a lot of food in this country. To waste is just terrible. Remember, your budget is very, very, it's one static budget and you have to make do. So this machine will make sure you never waste vegetables, uh, fruit, or anything that you use. You get all 100% of the product and you get to eat 100% of the product and safely. Now, Chef, I'll tell you that we've taken orders for. How many, Sean? 2,700 of these gone now. We still have hundreds of people on the phone lines, and we'll encourage everyone to stay right there and get yours because the four easy payments will expire at end of day today. Chef, we're going to have you back in just a little while. We've got a beautiful saute pan that I know you're excited about. We featured it off the top of the show. We baked a little cobbler in it. Carbon steel, baby. We'll tell you more about that. In the meantime, let's check in with Julia Carley. She's got Information on a brand new item tonight is going to protect your hands and arms from burns in the oven. I do indeed. We're all about safety in the kitchen tonight. I actually just ordered a mandolin in the